What's new in Alpha Fractal version 3.10.3? This time, once the project has been loaded, we noticed the new version of Alpha Fractal Boot. Because of that, it has shown, tidying up, before, checking. Now, before rendering the Mandelbrot with just the normal way, we noticed about load screen. Because of that, it's saying, generating randomness, after shown, rendering full color textures. Do you know why? Well, we have now the ability to click for the next zoom without waiting during the rendering process. This keeps it less frustrating. However, you can't actually go to the settings during the rendering process. There are two new versions in the settings. Because of that, if you press C, it comes up with epilepsy warning. If you have photosensitive epilepsy, don't to this, are you sure you want to continue? If you do it as a yes, the old-fashioned image does a lot differently. If you press and hold down the mouse, it will make them static. If you go to the Save menu, we noticed all the new versions with colors. Press A to set the key colors. If you press Enter for this, it just randomized the key colors instead of keeping them. So, if you really need to keep the key colors, move to the Kale's Fractaler 2, add the key colors, and then move it back to Alpha Fractal version 3.10.3. .3. This can be fixed in the future. Use the arrow keys to scroll the key colors. To randomize the key colors, all we have to do is to press C. Now let's move on with some sounds. Now, for the warnings. If you ever get stuck with something, please hold E, and then hold M, and then press G, and then it will come up with, Do you want to emergency return to the main Mandelbrot render? This will clear all lists, and it will not lose your data, but it will take a while to render. Use it only as the last resort. Do it for a yes to get unstuck. The most effective way to get unstuck is to press a key that has been last pressed, or if you can't remember, you might need to press every single key. Now, if you did not render to the main Mandelbrot set, and you try to toggle the Julia set, it comes up with, expected requirements from home Mandelbrot. Which means, if you try to set the Julia set between two points, it also comes up with the same technique. Now, if you rendered to the main Mandelbrot set, if you go to the extract settings, you'll see that the Julia frames has been shown. And you have the ability to select the Julia set between two points, and also able to toggle the Julia set. Now, if you press P or M while Julia set is on, it comes up with, please toggle off the Julia set. Now, whilst rendering, one thing that it is very clear is not to toggle the Julia set during the rendering process. So, if you toggle the Julia set during the rendering process, the text moved close to the corner, and also from the render output, it will be glitchy. And now, for the most warning part. As we said earlier from the previous video, you need to be careful when increasing iterations. Because, if you increase the iterations by too much, it will take hours, or even days to render. Also, the emergency return will not work, because it will glitch through the main render, and it's gonna get worse. Even the simple keys will not work either. In fact, the only way to get unstuck is to reload the page, which will lose the data.